Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of League Lectures. In today's episode, we're going to go over a recap of everything that happened in week 13 of the NFL. But before that, we have a quick bit of news from the NFL. The Panthers have fired their head coach, Ron Rivera. Um, they they are 5-7. and seven. They, they had a good start to the season, but then Cam Newton went down, Kyle Allen, Kyle Allen started playing bad, and their season kind of just went down the toilet. Um... So they decided to move away from Rivera, and they're going to start over. Um, I think it's good for the Panthers. I think Ron Rivera is a good head coach, and I don't think he'll be jobless for long. I think he will be a head coach or at least a defensive coordinator in the league next year for next season. But he's been with them for a while, and aside from that Super Bowl season, kind of an outlier season, nothing has really happened there. Like I said, he's a good coach. He won't be jobless long, but sometimes you just have to move on. So I think this is a smart path to take for the Panthers. I think a full reset of their of their um I think a full reset would help them a lot. I think they should move off of Cam Newton. A lot of people disagree with that. They think Cam Newton still has it. I don't think he does. I think trade him for another draft pick, a first or a second, whatever you'll get. Trade him for extra assets, and then they'll probably be top 10 or so in the draft, maybe top 15-ish. So go after someone like Justin Herbert or even second round. Uh, you can go Jalen Hurts, Jake Fromm. There's there's a lot of solid options, I think, in this draft, even into the second round. So I think a new QB, let the new head coach, whoever that will be, pick their new quarterback and kind of reboot the system. You have Christian McCaffrey, one of the best running backs and one of the best playmakers in all of the NFL. That's always a good weapon to have, especially when you're starting over and if you're going to get a new young quarterback, that's a good those that's a good pair of shoulders to lean back on. Um like I said, I think Ron Rivera won't be jobless long. Two teams that I think make sense for Rivera for head coaching gigs. Um, if the Cowboys, if they fire Jason Garrett after this season, I think that's a good fit. And the Jets, I also think, would be a good fit, but I'll get into that later. So with that said, we'll go into our Week 13 recap. First off, we'll start with all the Thanksgiving games. We had three games. Uh, the Bears beat the Lions, the Bills beat the Cowboys, and the Saints beat the Falcons. In each little individual ways, I think all of these games were entertaining. The Bears versus the Lions was the most competitive in terms of closeness throughout the whole game. Um, I believe the Bears won by like, they won by less than a touchdown. And if even Jeff Driscoll, if the Lions' second string quarterback was in, I think they would have won. Yes, I did say the Lions would, would have won with David Blau anyway. Of course, I was wrong. But that showed with how much David Blau did. If Jeff Driscoll was playing or if Matt Stafford was playing, the Lions easily would have won that game, in my opinion. I'm I'm concerned for the Bears. They're not they aren't they aren't that good. Um, their offense struggles too much, and defense has its moments. But like I said, they almost lost to a third string quarterback on Thanksgiving. So who knows how that's going to go? Um, the Bears they're still in the they are in the wild card hunt. If they can turn their season around, they can get into the playoffs, but they have to start clicking right away. I don't think they can lose another game, and they've got to get it going. The Bills beat the Cowboys. This, this is doubling down on what I said. The Cowboys are not a good team. They are 0-5 against any team that's 500 or better this season. Their whole division is really is just a mess. They're winning the division at 6-6, six and six, and they could probably get to the playoffs at 8-8 eight and eight or so. Um, the Eagles lost to the Dolphins. It, it's just a terrible division. Whoever comes out of that division is getting bounced round one fairly easily. They will probably be either playing the Seahawks or the 49ers, and I don't think they stand a chance against either of those teams. Um, but yeah, Bills are good. Cowboys are not. Cowboys need to fire Jason Garrett, get it over with. The Cowboys have a lot of talented players on their team, but Jason Garrett just can't get it together. Jerry Jones, 
I think he is starting to lose a little bit of patience, even though he did say Jason Garrett will be coaching next year, but he did not say he will be coaching for the Dallas Cowboys. So we'll see how that goes. Um, then the Saints beat the Falcons. This game was not really close, and it was only interesting until the last few minutes of the game when the Falcons actually recovered three consecutive onside kicks. The first one was ruled back because of a false start. Um, I don't know if I agreed with that false start, but nonetheless, they re-kicked it. The Falcons got it back again. They got a field goal. Then they were down by just a touchdown, I believe, either seven or eight points. So it was a one-possession game. They had another onside kick that they also recovered, but then it seemed like Matt Ryan was sacked 64 times in a row. Their line could not hold up one bit, and they ended up losing the game. Competitive at the end, the rest of it not so much, but you know what? It happens, and the fact that the Falcons almost got it done, I think that's a lot. The fact that the Falcons got it, almost got it done, that was really interesting. I would have loved to see them do it, even though I would have been wrong. Just for being a fan and seeing something like that happen, I would have loved, I would have loved to seen it happen. Now, the Texans, my Texans, beat the Patriots. Um, the Patriots are now 0-2 against teams that have a competent offense. Um, I know they beat the Cowboys. I don't really consider them that much of a competent offense, even though when you look at rankings, they are the first overall offense. But we know how up and down they are. They also haven't beaten any good teams, so... Blah. Who cares, really? Um, they beat the Bills. Bills are a good team, but it's not enough. It's not a that good of an offense. At least it wasn't that good of an offense when they played them. Um, but yeah, the two real offenses that the Patriots have played, the Ravens and the Texans, the Patriots have gotten exposed on both of them. Really, the defense, the Patriots defense was hyped up to be one of the best of all time, um, and I think that's been clearly shown to only been a factor of having the easiest start to a season of all time. Their defense is good, but it's nowhere near as good as everyone wanted us to, to believe it was. It was nowhere close to being one of the best of all times. I'm still saying it's not. They 100% benefited off of an easy schedule. And now they have the Chiefs next, which we all know is another really good offense. So they could lose another one here. And... This is always a risky thing to say because the Patriots tend to always turn their season around. But I think the Patriots could be in trouble come playoffs if they have to play a real good offensive team, which you most likely will in the playoffs. They might be bounced their first game. If they play the Texans again, they might be bounced. They, if they play the Chiefs again, they might be. If they play the Ravens, they might be. Depending on how the seedings fall, they might be out their first game and then I think that's it for Tom Brady. I do think Tom Brady retires after this season. He's just not good this year. Of course, he doesn't have the best of help. But either way, I think Tom Brady's done this year. Um, the Bengals beat the Jets. And this is where I'm bringing in Ron Rivera. Could be a good fit for the Jets. We all know the Jets head coach right now is Adam Gaze. Um, so many acquisitions in the offseason. And they have done absolutely nothing with it. Adam Gates does not deserve a second season in New York. I know it's usually not a good thing to fire a head coach after one season, but and I, I never bought into the Jets were going to be a playoff team, but I thought they'd be a little bit better. Uh, he he never did anything in Miami of of notice. He had a few average seasons, and then there's been a whole lot of mess surrounding him and the Jets. I just think. You have to move on from him. He's not a good head coach. I don't think he should have another job in the league, at least not a head coach gig. Uh, he can't handle it. He's not a good leader. He he just doesn't know to win. The Bengals, this was their first this was their first win. And the Jets have just been too up and down. They beat the Cowboys, then they lost to uh, who else? They lost to the Dolphins, which makes the, the Jets are the only team in NFL history to give two teams their first win, two zero and seven or worse teams their first win, so Jets are two up and down. I think Adam Gase should be out this year, and then they should look at Ron Rivera. So the Ravens beat the 49ers, 
and the Seahawks beat the Vikings, which means the Seahawks took the second seed over San Francisco, and San Francisco has fallen to the fifth seed, which at 10 and 2, I believe the record is 10 and 2 as a fifth seed really sucks, especially when there's a third or fourth seed that's 6 and 6, Dallas Cowboys. It sucks. Sometimes a lot of people think that the NFL should move to a top six records just in general for the conference, not necessarily division winners. I like the idea of still sticking with division winners, but if there's ever like an eight and eight team in the playoffs, as opposed to a 10 and six or 11 and five team that didn't win their division, I think there should be a tweak that the league can step in and say, hey, this team deserves it more than you. I'm sorry. I know you won your division, but they are clearly the better team. They deserve it more. So we're going to put them in over you. I think I, I say stick with the division leaders, get a playoff spot, unless there's a clearly better team. If a 7-9 and nine team makes the playoffs over a 12-4 12, 12 and four team or whatever it is, just because that 12-4 and four team didn't win their division, I don't think that's necessarily fair. Um, that would be my fix to it. But, yeah, and that's really all I have. Um... Not a whole lot of news for today, but thank you all for watching. If you liked what you heard, like, comment, and subscribe, share my videos to help me grow, and I'll see y'all later.